housing Connect everybody around me I'm a catalyst passing the energy I just wanna see everybody have a good time The weekend's here, trust me, it's time for you to rewind It's a weekend, it's a weekend, baby It's a weekend, it's a weekend Why edging hurts your no-fat benefits more than actually relapsing? Number one you're trashing your reward circuits. By sitting there for hours, watching new videos, opening new tabs, that surge of dopamine endlessly skyrockets without having to come down. This never ending tidal wave of reward chemicals crashes through your synapses. So by the time you're done, the damage is far worse. Number two, it revs up your urges even more. When you relapse, there's a definite end. At least your urges reset back down to zero when you're done. But when you edge, not only does it affect you far worse, but you're literally feeding those urges to come back even stronger in the very near future. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Y'all already know the most high done woke us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? For real, it's Saturday. Man, get out there, be productive, chill out, get some time to yourself, get some time in nature, you know what I mean? Do whatever makes you feel good, you know what I mean? That's healthy, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly why I showed y'all that clip, because I too have had my struggles with edging, you know what I'm saying? I may not have watched pornography, but I use my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? I, I would use my thoughts thinking about past flames, old flames that I didn't got with, you know what I'm saying? Sexual encounters that I've had, you know what I mean? To edge and I think about that while I'm while I'm doing it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, that shit ain't no good because sometimes, a couple times, you know, you could still have some type of, you know, discharge, some type of release. You may not you may not go all the way and fully ejaculate, but you you come close enough. And if you can't control that, you gonna completely just ruin everything. You gonna release everything, you gonna release all that energy, and then everything that you work hard for will go down the drain. So it really ain't worth it, bro. And I'm keeping it 100 with y'all. I've been having a struggle with this, especially when I'm stressing. You know what I mean? Sometimes it just comes simultaneously. It'd be, it be weird. Like, I could just be in the bathroom or whatever, and then I look at my joint because I'm not having sex and I'm not fapping, and then I, like, just make sure that my stuff's still working. I just go ahead and just make sure that my shit got, you know what I mean? Because sometimes, bro, while you're on this journey, you, you, you feel like you just don't even have no feeling down there. So sometimes you're going to have an urge to just check and make sure that your joint is good. And even then, that's no excuse. That's no excuse. And stressing, I understand. We all go through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we just need an out. We just want to feel good for a second. You know what I mean? Without even fully releasing. But either way, it's just like Tyler Johnston said in that clip. Shout out to No Fat Community. You know what I'm saying? Because I got that clip. You know, just today. I just looked at that after having a struggle with it last night. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, like this is just something that I've been finding myself do. And it's exactly how he said. Those urges come back even stronger. And if you watching porn, then that's just, that's going to make it even worse. Because I had to do some research. And people that edge, they do that shit for hours. They do that shit for hours while watching porn. And even though they not fully releasing, then guess what? They still doing damage to they uh to they receptors and all of that shit. They reward receptors and all of that shit. So guess what, bro? It ain't no good. It's just as bad as fapping it going all the way through. Because like he said, at least you go back down to zero and then your shit just reset and it is what it is. But when you just keep doing that and you doing it for hours and hours and you feeding that addiction, watching that porn, watching those videos, opening up all of those windows, bro, that's worse than a relapse. You know what I'm saying? A relapse usually is just bang, bang. You did what you did and it's like, okay, I got to learn from this. But when you don't release, but you didn't, you didn't sat there and edge for hours, bro, your shit gonna come back even stronger. And guess what? You will go all the way through if you didn't go all the way that while you was doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, we just gotta stay away from it. 
It is. It's worse than relapsing. And guess what? Just like he said, those urges just keep coming back. And then my mind is telling me that it's okay, but it really ain't. It really ain't. So just understand the dangers of that shit and just try to get through it. It's just another chapter in our book that we have to fight. You know what I'm saying? It's just another battle. Something else that just keep getting to us. You just keep, you know what I mean? It's just something that just stick around. Another out, another sideways thing to just try to get through and mess up everything that we got going. And we cannot let it. You know what I'm saying? These challenges ain't going to stop. No matter if you edging, no matter if you relapsing, no matter if you having urges, whatever the case may be, you just got to find the strength in you to not do it. Because sometimes, man, yeah. when you on this journey, bro, you gonna have those struggles. You gonna have those urges. You gonna be stressing out sometimes. You gonna be going through these flat lines and it's gonna make you wanna take some steps backwards. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not gonna sit here and give you excuses on why. You know, oh, I was in a car accident. Oh, it's been a long week. Oh, this and that. No, bro, it ain't no excuse for edging. You know what I'm saying? You just doing more damage to yourself you just going to cause for, this, for for those urges to come back even stronger and they're going to be tougher to fight. Those battles going to be tougher to fight because you playing with fire when you do that. I don't care if you watching porn while you do it or you having thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm using my thoughts of past flings that I didn't have, of past, you know what I'm saying? Old flames that I didn't got with, that doesn't make it better for my mind because I'm still tricking myself up here and then I'm still having pleasure just, you know what I mean? Just fapping it, fapping, fapping until I get to the edge, bro. You know what I'm saying? And who's to say one day it just might go too far and then boom. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, it really ain't worth it to just be having thoughts and thinking about any of that shit anyways. You know what I'm saying? My energy is worth more than that. You know what I mean? My confidence is worth more than that. You know what I mean? My, you know, everything that I've been working on, bro, my health is worth more than that. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna mess up all of this up here. I'm not gonna mess up my receptors, my dopamine, you know what I'm saying? And give it to that because that's what you do. You want that dopamine release. You still get a dopamine release when you edge it. But you could be getting that dopamine release by writing your music, you know what I'm saying? By working out, you know what I'm saying? But now, since you allowed that in, now you, you gonna still continue to do those things but you're going to still want that in there. you squeezing that edge in there because you feel like you deserve that. You, uh, you, you, you didn't let your mind talk you into thinking that it ain't nothing wrong with that. But it is because you feeding into your addiction, bro. And we're not going to act like, yo, we're not here because of uh, addiction. Yeah, bro. We're here because we was addicted to porn. We was here because we was addicted to releasing. We was addicted to sex. And then on top of that, the connections with the drugs and all of that shit, it's just it, 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 the, the possibility of opening up some of those doors for those demons is just too much of a risk. You know what I'm saying? The possibility of us of it, of, of that doing that edging, making us go back to who we was is too much of a risk for something so small just because you just want to feel good for a few minutes. Just because you want to feel good for a couple hours. Some people will literally sit there and edge for hours. I was reading it. Like, motherfucker, you, how do you even, how do people have time? And I, and I read some. somebody said they was edging for three hours. You know what I'm saying? You know how much time, you know how much product, to, how, much, how, much the, how many things you could have got done in that? You could have been resting while you was doing that. You know what I mean? You could have got two workouts in while you was doing that. You know what I mean? You could have been working on your future while you was doing that, but three hours, bro, that's how that's how far people take it. So you mean to tell me that that's, that's healthy just because you didn't release? No, it's just like he said, bro, you was better off just relapsing and going away, just getting it wham, bam, and then I, that's that. My shit reset to zero, and then I just got to go from there and not do it again and learn from my mistakes. But when you edge, you don't learn from your mistakes. My mind told me that it was okay just a couple times. You know what I mean? Every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? So that's been my low-key struggle. And I'm here to tell you, bro, if y'all having that struggle, it's okay. You know what I mean? It's okay. You just got to find a way to stop. 
You got to find a way. You got to figure it out like we have to figure everything else out. But don't beat yourself up over it. But understand, it's just like he said, bro. Those urges come back even stronger because I let my mind convince me that it was okay to do every once in a while. But it ain't, bro. It ain't because now it just keep coming back. I'm the dude. I'm telling you, it will it, it will pop up in my mind just because I didn't edge every time I thought about it. That doesn't mean that it ain't do some damage because now it's coming back and I'm thinking about it more and more. So that's gonna make me more susceptible to doing it when I feel like it, bro, or when I have a moment, when I'm stressing, when I'm going through something. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, and we how often are we stressing sometimes? Sometimes just dealing with life is going to make us get want to get away for a second. So you mean to tell me every time we go through something, we're going to go to the bathroom and edge? Nah, that's, but that's what, that's what happens. That's what happens when you let that shit back into your journey. When you let that shit creep back into your life. When you start getting dopamine releases from doing that. And then you're going to find any excuse to edge. You're going to find any excuse, bro. And like I said, no matter if you watch a porn or not. Anything going to trigger that shit. You could just be flipping through Instagram. See a fine chick. Oh, shit. You know, it's going to make you want to edge. Now you letting that shit just get closer and closer. Before you know it, you relapsing again. Before you know it, you back watching porn again. Before you know it, you taking steps backwards again, bro. For some fucking edging, dog. Nah, bro. So I can't go, bro. I got to continue to fight this battle, man. You know what I mean? Because these little demons, these little side little things that's trying to squeeze through these windows, these cracks and shit, bro. It happens. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Just just being a human being. You know what I mean? But that's why we on this journey. To stop that shit, bro. Because it's always going to be something that's trying to knock us down. That's trying to steal our energy. That's trying to stop us from getting to the top, bro. And we can't let it. No matter how big or small. So for y'all that's thinking edging ain't nothing, bro. It's something. That shit will snowball. If you ever heard of the snowball effect, it's when... You roll something down the hill. It's, it can start as a small snowball, but it picks up more snow and it gets bigger and bigger the further it go down the hill, bro. Do not let Edge and do this to you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's that serious and it will take you there. You know what I mean? And using my mind still, you know what I'm saying? Using these, using my brain power to edge and have these thoughts, thinking about shit that I shouldn't even be even remembering like that, bro. Listen, dog, what I got going right now is far more important than thinking about some old flames and possibly releasing my energy to that shit. You know what I'm saying? None of it. It, it ain't worth it, dog. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth it. So sitting there watching porn and doing all of that shit, bro. Listen, you playing with fire. Edge and in general is playing with fire. Using my brain to, have, to, to, to give me pleasure and have dopamine releases up there is playing with fire. Because we know how addiction works. It just grows. You know what I'm saying? It's like a mold. You know what I mean? It's like a bacteria. You know, it just keep growing, just grow stronger and stronger. And when you use your brain power, bro, listen, dog, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you fucking shit up up there, bro. And before you know it, you having to rewire shit again, dog. And listen, dog, we didn't have to do so much rewiring already. Don't start loosening shit back up and then rewiring, rewiring your shit back to your old ways. Don't do it. It's not worth it so stop that edging stop having those thoughts find better ways to deal with your stress find better ways to deal with your problems get out there get to that gym get in nature all of that shit bro enjoy some sun but when you having these uh, moments and shit like that you gotta figure it out you know what i'm saying before that shit turn into something else and you're gonna be mad you know what i'm saying because no matter how much you release, if, if you don't even ejaculate, but still some come out, you're going to still feel some type of way. You may didn't go all the way when you was edging, but still though, that little bit of that little bit that you even see come out, whether it's pre-ejaculation or whatever the case may be, you still going to feel some type of way because I still felt some type of way. I didn't feel like, oh, you know what I mean? Look, you know what I mean? I still didn't, I still didn't finish. I still didn't do this. I still didn't do that, but still. It still ain't a good feeling because you came close to it. You know what I'm saying? Who's to say you're going to be stronger that next time? Who's to say that you're not going to let it get all the way, you know what I mean? Go all the way just because you was having a bad day. 
You know what I mean? We can't be depending on shit like this, dog. We cannot. You know what I mean? We done already been there already. We can't. We gotta find healthier ways, dog. You know what I mean? We can't be opening up these gates, bro. These portals and shit. Using shit like you know, like this up here. You know what I mean? To mess up what we got going, bro. We need our brain power for other things, for bigger and better things. Not fucking having thoughts of oh shit, oh flings you didn't hooked up with or watching that shit letting them demons in you watching these, these screens watching that porn and shit like that sitting there for hours and shit you know what i mean playing with your jimmy letting it get to the edge and then stopping letting it get to the edge and stop like bro who got time for that shit bro you know what i'm saying i don't care if it was in the bathroom quick or, or whatever you just doing it every once in a while boom 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 like bro no nah, it ain't it's, <laughs> it ain't worth our time it ain't worth our energy it ain't worth what we got going so remember that moving forward bro we stronger we better than this all right and this is me talking to me you know what i'm saying i'm here for y'all listen bro i know what you're going through i've been having my struggles i just don't want i just ain't you know what i mean you just got to wait it out to talk about it. You know when you letting things register up here and you still trying to figure it out before you talk about it. When I seen that clip this morning, I was like, it's time to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? It's time to talk about it. There may be people going through this and it's a message from God, bro. Y'all already know, bro, the most high going to send them clues. I tell you all the time. I'm like, okay, God told me it's time to talk about this and at the same time deal with my issues. You know what I'm saying? Deal with my issues. Find a better way. So we got work to do. Let's do it, all right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jason and Sante. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I got to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get